Hi everyone and welcome back to the Toffee Blues YouTube channel, your source for all things Everton. These are the player ratings for Everton 1, Southampton 2 um, in a, another um, abysmal afternoon at Goodison Park. Um, yeah, there's not much to say really. Um, everyone knows the feeling of the club at the moment and yeah, it looks like we're going down pretty much. There's nothing else to say. I'm not going to waste any more, any more energy on talking about that club. Um, but... Here we go. I've got to do these player ratings, so we'll jump into it. Um, Jordan Pickford, I'm going to give him a four. thought he was very, very poor today. Um, his kicking was, was abysmal. His output was terrible. Um, and for their their goal, uh, the, the free kick from Ward Prowse, he just stood in the middle of the goal. Um, you know, at least at least dive in one direction. At least you give yourself a bit of a bit of a 50-50 chance then, don't you? But no, just stood in the middle of the goal. But I thought the all-round game was poor today. His distribution was shocking. Um, so give Jordan Pickford a four. Seamus Coleman, um, obviously coming back into the side in place of Nathan Patterson. Um, you know, I thought I thought Seamus actually didn't do too bad in the in the first half. Thought he put a shift in, you know, he did the best that he can do. But, you know, we all we all know the situation with Seamus Coleman. Um he's not as He's not as um, able as, as he used to be, so I'll probably give Seamus Coleman a, a five. Um, in fact, no, it's a bit, a bit harsh, actually. Probably give Col Coleman a six, you know. Uh, yeah, I'll give Seamus Coleman a six, obviously taken off in the second half for a more, more attacking sub in Anthony Gordon, who will come on to shortly. Uh, ben Godfrey, obviously coming back into the side again today. Frank Lampard reverting to five at the back. Um, ben Godfrey, I uh, thought he was, he was all right again. He was all right first half, tailed off second half. Um, you know, he, he tried to make some kind of block for for their equaliser. Um, you know, he got sold short by Ward Prowse. It made it too easy for him. So for me, Ben Godfrey, I'll give him a five. Um, Connor Cody. Um, I don't know what, what, what you say. He's, he he was all right, wasn't he? Um, just doesn't really. Just seems that the whole Tarkovsky Cody partnership, which was lauded in the early weeks of the season, seems to be. A long distant memory now, in my opinion. Uh, Connor Cody, he just didn't really stand out for me at all. And you know that that sort of that presence that he, he certainly had in those early days of the season just seemed to be gone now, um, which is really sad to see because it, it was a very promising start from him. But I thought he was he was very average today. You know, didn't didn't see much of him to give him much of a high score. So we'll probably give Connor Cody a five. Um, same for James Tarkovsky again. Um, I, I think James Tarkovsky's not been I think he's been below below par for a couple of weeks now if I'm being quite honest James Tarkovsky in my opinion um, just that 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 sort of that presence at the back I say again just seems to just be gone um, so I'll give Tarkovsky a five um, Vitaly Michalenko Jesus Christ what, what can be said about him um, awful just just awful in my opinion and he's been awful for, for weeks now Um not good enough, just simply not good enough for Tali Michalenko. He was taken for a ride a few times in that in that second half, especially. Um, really poor from Vitali Michalenko today. I'll probably have to give him a I'll give him a three. Terrible thought from him. Uh, moving on to the midfield, Alex Awobi. I just don't know where that player's gone, who um, everyone was losing their heads over, and myself included. Um, I don't know what the contract situation was is with him. But again, very average. A bit of a surprise seeing him back on the side today after being stretched off against Man United last week in the FA Cup. Um, surprise selection, but I don't know. He didn't pull up any trees for me. Um, Amadou Onana, probably the best player on the pitch. Also, did I give Roby a, a rating? I'd probably give him a give him a 5.5. 5. Um, yeah, Amadou Onana, probably our best player today, I thought. But again, the bar isn't exactly high, is it? Obviously, got his first goal for the club in the first half to put us 1-0 up. And in that first half, I thought he was having a really good game at the time. He was really uh, bossing that midfield for me. He was winning a lot, winning a lot of his battles. Um, and, you know, it was one of... In that first half, it was one of his best performances I've seen for a while from, from Onana. It was great to see him... Um, sort of get up to those those levels that I think a lot of us expect from him you know a play with a lot of potential but again another one tailed off in the second half I thought um, the whole intensity of the squad um, went off a cliff in the second half for me and um, yeah so I'm doing nine I'd probably give him a, a seven um, you know took his goal off the set piece well and was and was was doing very well in that first half but again tailed off Adressa Gay 
disappointing again. Um, it just seems to be becoming a bit of a theme with Garner Gay, I think, since he's came back. Just didn't exactly... He, I don't know, he's just... He made some some good tackles today. He broke the play up in patches, but again, I, I keep going back to that second half. He just just went missing, and and yeah, he, I think he got he got taken off, didn't he? For um, he was at four. Uh, yeah, he got took off for Ellis Sims about eight minutes towards the end. But um, yeah, just just so average, just so poor, and yeah, so Garner Gay you'd probably give him a five. Dominic Calvert Lewin, poor, really poor. <sighs> Hardly won any of his aerial battles today. You know, we were second to every ball. Uh, Dominic Calvert Lewin for me has to be doing better than this. Really poor in the air today. Did hardly won anything. Obviously, he hit the crossbar in the um in this in the second half. You know, if that goes in, you know, the complexion of the game changes. And um, but you know, it's, it, you sit it all night and call by if buts and maybe's. The bottom line is he didn't score. Um. But yeah, didn't really do much, which is pretty much what he does most games. Doesn't really do much. Um, Damari Gray, uh, sorry, so yeah, Calvert Lewin probably give him a f- four. Just not, not physical enough for me. You know, hardly, hardly much of a presence today up front, and you know, a lot of Southampton players just bullied him. Putting, putting it quite simply, they bullied him. Re- really poor. Really poor from Dominic. Um, Damari Gray, again, very quiet. Um, yeah. Obviously scored a fantastic goal against Man City um, a few weeks ago. And a lot of people know there's a player in there. We keep talking about how there's a lot of potential there. He can make things happen, but he certainly didn't make things happen today. Um, trying to beat players. I think a lot of players are quite wise to Damari Gray. You know, he's, he's obviously going to try and beat them, but he's just going for the obvious option all the time and nothing really came off for him today. He was being played on his wrong foot quite a bit this afternoon as well. So it didn't really make much happen. Damari Gray, he's a bit of a nuisance for players, for opposition players, but not exactly not exactly doing anything, is he? You know, we need we need to see more more from him because he's one of our very, 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 very few outlets of um, potentially scoring goals and he just wasn't at it today which is which is the difference between us us getting points out of games because we know how few goals there are in this side um, briefly moving on to the subs obviously Anthony Gordon came on for Seamus Coleman like, went on a couple of alright runs but again there's no end product with the lad is the and um, gave away a pathetic foul for their goal um, just no need to push. I think it was Che Adams. Just no need to push him at all in, in a dangerous area, knowing that they've got such a threat on set pieces in James Ward Prowse. Um, he had he had a, a free kick about ten minutes earlier than that. Thankfully, we got away with it. But you know, we got another one in probably a, a more a more favoured position for him. And we just didn't need to give it away at all. I thought it was really really naive and really poor from Andy Gordon. Um, and Che Adams was always going to look for that. Um, and they took full advantage. So really disappointed there. Didn't really make much happen. Um, Anthony Gordon, um, yeah, I should probably give him a a five again. Um, a lot of fives being handed out, um, and then finally, ugh, I don't really, not much you can say about this last one, but Ellis Sims obviously came on for eight minutes. Um, had a few touches, um, held the ball up okay in patches and places, but you know didn't really see much of him to make an impact. And it's not fair in Ellis Sims. Let's have it right. It's not fair in Ellis Sims. You know this was a lad who was just finding his feet at Sunderland, and he was uh, in the middle of a really, a really beneficial loan spell. It looked like for for a while, um, and you know just the club being the mess that it's in doesn't just takes him out of a out of a Sunderland camp who obviously was were doing really well for his progression. Drag him out of there, and um, he just comes on for the last for the dying minutes of games where Everton are getting beat. Um, in the hope that he can maybe change, change the game for a young lad who was who was quite happy where he was um, developing in the championship. Um, but you know the way things are going, he'll be uh, he'll be developing in the championship again um, next season for Everton. Um, yeah, but that's it. That's my player ratings. There's not much else to say. As you can tell, I'm feeling very very despondent at the minute with uh, with Everton. I'm sure a lot of people are who are watching this as well. Um, there's nowhere left to hide now. There's nowhere left to run. Um, we knew the importance and the magnitude of this game today. We knew we had to win. Fans greeting coaches in the middle of January. It, it's 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 desperate. It really is. But fair play to everyone who turned out. The fans did their part today. No doubt about that. 
and um, we were in we were in good voice and um, really got behind the boys I thought even when we even when Southampton equalised I thought no no one really no one really um, got too despondent but the, the, the players and, and this manager really don't help themselves do they and um, that probably is it now for Frank Lampard you'd think but I just don't know where we go from here. I don't think anyone could get anything out of this 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 side now. You know, the club's dead. That's all right. The club's dead. The club's in, in disarray. Um, and the, the, there are no other sides who who look worse than us, quite frankly. And um, yeah, that's it. There's nothing else at this moment in time that you can see but relegation for Everton. Um, but yeah, we'll leave it there. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check out the other reactions off on the back of this game um, and we shall see you next time thanks for watching Toffee Blues uh, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already <laughs>